And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Haya, which was a request from Kamatoris via our Patreon and Discord. So thanks. Haya was a Neo-Ornithischian, a Hypsilophodontid, that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now the Gobi Desert in Mongolia, in the Javkalant Formation and Nemet Formation. Haya had a somewhat long body and long tail, short arms, it walked on two legs, and it had an elongate skull with a beak. There are multiple unique features found in Haya, including five, according to the original paper describing it, quote, bulbous, unserrated, premaxillary teeth. <laughs> it's like that they use the term bulbous. Bulbous teeth does sound kind of funny. Yeah. The frontals at the top of the head also, according to the paper, quote, form a remarkably flat and extensive skull table, quote. Very descriptive. Haya also had relatively wide triangular nasals and a long, well, elongate lower jaw, the dentary, that, quote, forms over half the length of the mandible. It also had short neural arches, a gracile humerus, the arm, that in one specimen found, quote, bears evidence of scavenging. Hmm. They think that there were two holes, well, there were two holes that were probably from burrowing arthropods, and that's seen in a lot of other dinosaurs from the Gobi Desert. Haya was described by Peter Makovicki and others in 2011. They found several specimens that were well-preserved. These fossils were found between 2002 and 2007 by the Joint Mongolian Academy of Sciences and AMNH Expeditions. Speaking of AMNH, yep. yeah, they're still doing expeditions. <laughs> the holotype is a complete, quote-unquote, barely distorted skull and has parts of the spine. I like barely distorted. Yeah. It's distorted, but it's not that bad. It's pretty good. <laughs> the type species is Haya griva, and the genus and species name are, quote, from the Sanskrit for the Hindu deity Haya griva, an avatar of Vishnu characterized by a horse head in reference to the elongate and faintly horse-like skull of this dinosaur and the common depiction of this deity in the Buddhist art of Mongolia, end quote. So the name refers to Haya having that long horse-like skull. There's a lot of specimens that have been found, so we know pretty much how the whole skeleton looked. Nice. And a few of the specimens were found with a lot of gastroliths. One was described as having a, quote, sizable gastrolith mass, and it's only the second one found in ornithopods. There's one specimen with the gastroliths found near the abdomen had, quote, two tightly clustered masses of pebbles, end quote, that were probably quartz or flint. Mark Norell and Daniel Barda published in 2016 about a new highest specimen that was found in the Nemet Formation. So that's how we know it's two different formations. These fossils were found around 1992. It was a fragmentary skeleton that included the left side of the head, parts of the arm, vertebrae, and ribs. Most of the specimen was eroded, but after preparing the fossils, they found that it had a lot of similarities to Haya. So it was Haya. And in 2021, Barda and Norell published an in-depth osteology of the skeleton of Haya Griva. There are a lot of referred specimens. I counted 36 in the paper that they mentioned. Wow, that is a lot. Yeah, it's enough to see a growth series. And the specimens they studied had a range of sizes, but the histology shows that they were perinatal to subadults. And there's no skeletally mature specimens. <laughs> so out of 36, they didn't get a single adult? Yes. Wow. Now, based on histology, Haya probably had a high growth rate. All the specimens sampled seemed to have been actively growing when they died. And one interesting thing is that Haya seemed to get more teeth as it grew. There were gastroliths found with multiple specimens, and the gastroliths are smooth with rounded edges. One specimen found had skull and bones that were, quote, fairly widely separated from one another, possibly dispersed by scavengers or running water, end quote. And in another case, there were two individuals found buried close to each other, along with a troodontid tooth. A lot of the bones in these specimens have holes. Again, probably from insects eating the bones after the dinosaurs died. And apparently this is very common with the dinosaurs from the Gobi. It reminds me of like movies in Egyptian settings where they have like the scarab beetles going and scavenging mm -hmm. bodies and stuff. Yeah, it's interesting to think how the insects took over mm -hmm. as soon as they could. 
<laughs> Some other animals that lived around the same time and place as Haya include the Neoceratopsian Yamaceratops, small manoraptorans, mammals, and lizards. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.